Good morning, everybody. Steve here from the Worthy Bugger. It's Friday, May 2nd, 2024. Got some gentlemen here uh, above the KOA fishing <clears throat> in a very good spot. So as you can see, the river is in excellent condition. Absolute 100% clarity low weightable very weightable lots and lots of exciting things happening so uh, big stone fly hatch happening lots of salmon flies still around in specific parts of the river okay so it seemed to uh, come off in the canyon a little bit sooner, in the lower canyon, below Ellensburg first, uh, and then kind of progressed in other, in other parts of the river, farmlands, upper river. So yeah, still plenty of them through the farmlands and the upper river around Clay Ellum. And even above that, even above the confluence of the uh, Clay Ellum. So here we are, just walking the banks of the river here. Just turning over some rocks so we can see what we uncover. Mr. Salmon Fly. So this fly fisherman, you know, we do our due diligence and find out what the trout are eating so now we know that they're probably eating adult salmon flies and they're definitely eating big stone fly nymphs just kicking over a few rocks debris logs you know along the river will tell you uh, it'll give you a lot of great info on where to start your fishing day the big big stone flies fun dry fly fishing of course, big nymphs in the morning, big dries in the afternoon. And with this, uh, now that we're in the month of May, you know, we're only about 10 days away from Mother's Day, which the famous Mother's Day caddis hatch will be happening on the river. But on these warm days like this, the caddis have already started showing up. And the fish uh, uh, get right on them. So be prepared for that. And then it looks like maybe we got uh, some rain coming in over the weekend. So that is going to produce some excellent mayfly fishing. So still March Browns happening in the upper river. And the farmlands, good, good, you know, reliable hatches lasting, you know, well, you know, starting about two and lasting well into, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. And with the rainfall coming, there'll be a mixture of blue wings in there as well. So just heads up, keep all that in your arsenal. So it is the month of May, you know, and they, you know, most likely we're going to experience, you know, maybe one or two more salmon pulses like they did last week uh, on the river. So just so you know, you know, uh, the Bureau doesn't give anybody any kind of notice, really. They just, uh, they do it and then they post that they did it. So kind of a way it's always been just a lack of communication with the fishing community which is kind of a shame you know they do a pulse overnight and we wake up and find the the river volume has increased uh you know a thousand cubic feet which is a lot of water you know to push one time down the river which i think we've touched on this before and said that it doesn't do a whole lot um create some major erosion problems along the river 
but as far as pushing the salmon out to the Pacific, just haven't really seen that that volume of water really does anything but waste. So uh, all the basin lakes still reporting good fishing. Uh, I guess the one that is starting to uh, to slow down a little bit is uh, Lake Lenore. That one's starting to get uh, reports that the fish have finished their spawn for the year, which is kind of hard to understand. They let your fish over spawning fish, but uh, slowing down there. And then, of course, you know, we, we touched on it last week here. You know, we had the, the biggest spawn that we've seen in the river through the farmlands and the upper river, I think, ever. So... You know, that really tells us that we have a large, large number of adult-sized spawning fish, you know, that uh, are capable of spawning in the river. So great for the, great for the Yakima, great for the trout populations. So it'll be interesting to see over the next couple of years what that produces. And hopefully, uh, you know, we see the same next year and the year after. We have some great news. It's been a long time coming. A good friend, Mr. Greg Campbell, has joined the Whirly Bugger guiding staff. And uh, we're excited to have him. Greg's been fishing the river for a long time, many, many years. Knows it, knows it really well, especially the farmlands area. He's great at Euro nymphing. Really excels at Spay fishing, swinging flies with trout rods, as well as all the other optimal fly fishing techniques. So we're super excited to uh, have him on staff. He's just a great addition. It's been a long time coming, Greg, and we love you, bud. And we're, we're uh, super excited to see you start your new guiding career. I know you're excited, so everybody, that knows Greg is super excited for him as well. So great news to uh, to finish up the week there, everybody. So like I said, all oh, fishing's going great. River is in good shape. So got some fishing planned. Hopefully you do. Everybody enjoy your weekend. I hope you have a great one. Give us a call at the fly shop if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help you. Till then, everybody.